Okay, this is take two of me trying to revisit my old my old songs. Okay, hopefully everything goes smoothly and we're just gonna restart. Okay. Don't be nervous and we should be good. So what we're doing today or tonight is actually revisiting my old beats. I don't know, I just I like looking at my like looking looking at like old work and then comparing it to what you have right now just to like see progress I think that's really cool or like you know how when you look at old pictures and then look at look at um how you look right now I think I don't know I just think that's pretty cool so yeah I guess I should talk about how I got started making music in the first place I'll probably get go into more detail in another in another video but uh, basically, I started playing guitar 2017, actually end of 2017-ish, or mid-2017, that's when I started. And then I made my first song, I mean, I made my first, it's, it's a first song, and it wasn't, it's as good as first songs are gonna be, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it says here in my screen recording, I have the original file, it says, uh, it's dated September 12, 2018. Yeah, I think, yeah, that should be about right. So you might notice that I don't actually have the original GarageBand project file. Uh, that's because I probably deleted it, and that was not a good idea on my part. But at least we have the MP3, so that's a positive, I guess. Okay, we're getting backtracked. Anyways, so guitar, guitar 2017, end of 2017, made the song 2018 September because somebody actually, somebody that I knew wanted wanted me to make a song. I mean, just to you know, just to try and experiment. And I, I took it as a kind of challenge and I don't know, I had a lot of fun doing it. Again, I think it's really nice to look back at all things that you've done and see how you've improved. Okay, so let's take a listen. The, you notice the, the rain sounds, you know? Some lo-fi, whatever. I remember following a tutorial. I, I'm probably gonna, you know, put an image somewhere, the thumbnail. Yeah, it was a guy talking about how to make lo-fi hip-hop in FL Studio. And I think I, I followed, you know, what I could from that. Which was the rain sounds and everything. Yeah, okay, well, let's just listen again. You can tell I did not know what quantizing meant.
So that was my first song ever. Um, very generic lo-fi stuff. It's like lo-fi, but if you... Ah. Anyways, uh, sorry for that interruption. Um, that was the first beat I've ever made, made in GarageBand. Like all great songs are made in GarageBand. But after that, uh, I think the next day, yeah, pretty much the next day, I spent the afternoon making another thing, which I actually genuinely really like. Obviously, the title, you know, it has to be beat two course so this one if you notice in the last one there's actually it's very noticeable with their everything there is a software instrument like there's no actual guitar or bass or piano or anything like that it's all from GarageBand and it sounds very very artificial especially the guitar but at the time I thought that I was I was pretty realistic you know what I mean and I could get away with that one thing I did like though, about my my first song is that I had I had the structure down, you know what I mean? Like verse, chorus, intro, whatever, whatever. So let's let's take a listen. Two beat two. And I actually have the original GarageBand file. File uh, file right here. So you can actually see how I made everything. So I spent the entire afternoon working on this thing. I had like a little I had my acoustic guitar and like an eye rig, which is a very bad, <laughs> a very bad um, recording mic thing for a for acoustic guitar. Yeah, I just pulled out some jazz chords, some jazz chords, sorry, and made like a bo bossa nova kind of style. Very lo-fi. I feel like this is something that maybe Biosphere could pull off, and I actually really like this one. So let's let's listen. Oh no! What the hell? Anyways, this was a train wreck. This was a train wreck. But I'm not gonna re-record this and like fake my reaction and stuff like that. Uh, but truth be told, I have listened to both of them, both of my fir my first two songs, you know, a couple times in the past week because I was already thinking about making this video and just kind of thinking about what I would say. I mean, not like it, not like this whole thing is scripted, but like how I would remix it or you know stuff like that so I wouldn't have such a hard time uh, you know just just stuttering stuttering here and just doing whatever I listened to them beforehand just just so you know so this is not a blind reaction anyways I'm rambling now I will see you hopefully I cut this out or if I decide to edit it in then great okay oh <sighs> okay the video saved also, yo, I look pretty good, you know what I mean? You know, still, it's still pretty crusty, you know what I mean? But definitely better than what I've looked like in other pictures, which I will show. <laughs> Anyways, I look good. Okay, we're gonna listen to it together, even though I listened to this beforehand, you know? Okay, anyways. Okay, side note. So remember how I said that the eye rig is actually a pretty bad thing, especially when you're recording. I mean, it's its purpose is to record stuff, but it doesn't do a good job at it. If you listen closely, we're gonna just solo this, uh, so you can hear what I'm talking about. You hear you hear my brothers in the background, right? Like that's not that's not just like 
yeah, the I rigs trash. Advice to anybody who wants to record their guitar or anything like that, definitely invest in an audio interface. I might talk about this in another video, you know, how some people can get started on making music. But that's for next time. Anyways, don't buy the I rig, that's all I'm gonna say. Yes, where were we? So that's, you know, short but sweet. Another side note, since I did not know what quantization, quant, quantize, quantizing, what quantizing, quantizes, oh my gosh, quantizing, what, since I did not know what quantizing was, for those of you who don't know what quantizing is, it's basically time correct, so instead of, you know, having this weird kind of rhythm like this, like if you put the metronome on, it doesn't, it does not, it's not on time. Yeah, that's 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 pretty bad. You notice it's not on time, right? That's because I did not quantize it, which it kind of like you know snaps it to the right timing. So you can tell that my my finger drumming or whatever my beat was definitely not on time. But I think that it fits the lo-fi kind of vibe that I was going for. And a lot of lo-fi, if you listen to it also has that kind of swing to it. I think what I did here is pretty good. Not to do my own horn or anything. I feel like it's good to do the positives in this kind of thing instead of like, ah, uh, ew, this is so trash. Oh, oh shit. shit. Okay, well, that was... <laughs> it, yeah, anyways, like, ew, this is so trash, you know what I mean? I feel like it's good to see the good things. In old work, especially. I feel like to anyone who's uh, interested or starting out who might be watching this, it can be pretty demoralizing to see somebody comment on their own works like that, right? I mean, their own old works like that. Because, I mean, everyone starts somewhere. It's not like I'm the best at what I'm doing. But again, I think there's definitely improvement. And that's what we're here to see, I think. Yeah, like this beat, beat two, if I have like an EP that's coming out, if I have one, Wink, wink. <laughs> I'm. I think I. I definitely put this on there. Maybe just like add its raw form, or maybe I could remake it. But I think this is a product of its time. You know what I mean? Anyways, I feel a bit more relaxed now. You know, talking to the camera, talking to myself. So, I think my commentary has gotten a bit better at this point in the video. I don't know. When I make something, I want it to be something that like you can't get from from any other like, artist out there. You know what I mean? It's something that. I try to make it as unique as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, this I hope this makes sense. It probably doesn't, but that's okay. I haven't uploaded on the Soapy channel for a very long time and I guess I never really had the confidence. I still don't have the confidence, but I think this is a step forward. Yeah, I feel like earlier in, in, in the video you can definitely you can definitely see how nervous I was. So, I hope this wasn't too cringy. If you have any ideas for the next video, which I hope comes very soon, comment. If there's even anybody that's gonna watch this. I don't really mind. Good night. And my camera is about to die. Okay. Uh, good night.